What is up Pokemon trainers? Today's the day the Venusaur raids are now in place with the Mighty Mark. I'm going to show you exactly how to beat this solo. It is easy as peasy pretty much but we're going to get straight into this. So the Pokemon you're going to want to get is a Chestnut. It does not need to be shiny. I kind of just got one shiny because I had one spare. But what you're going to want to do first of all is grab yourself a Chestnut. Make sure it's level 100. That's the first thing you want to do. I see countless times people join in raids and their Pokemon isn't level 100. Make sure that's level 100. Then you want to have the item Shell Bell. That's going to be a given as well. You can get these from across so many places. Chances are you probably already have one. So I don't think I need to explain where to get a Shell Bell from. Also you want it to be a Grass Terror type. Once you've done all of that, you can then move on to the move set. The move set you're going to want is Drain Punch, Seed Bomb, Spiky Shield. The reason you want Spiky Shield as well, just to add this in now while we're at it, you're going to see it when we're in the raid. He will use Sludge Bomb. When he gets rid of your ability, you're going to have to take the risk and just use Spiky Shield at that point. I know sometimes he may not use it, but it's better off using it and not getting one tapped. And yeah, they would, it would just suck to, that to happen. So that's why Spiky Shield is here and Belly Drum because we want that times six boost. You also want the ability to be bulletproof to stop all forms of like ball attacks and bomb moves. This will protect you from those as well. So obviously once he's like got rid of your abilities, like you're going to need to Spike Shield. So the reason we have bulletproof on is for if he was to do that, as long as he hasn't nerfed your abilities, you'll be absolutely fine from that move. You will not get one tapped. Moving on to the EV and IV training, you're going to want to max out your special defense, max it out completely, and then in attack you want 124 and then put the rest into speed. So when the sun goes down, you will be attacking first. When the sun's up, you will be getting like smacked up a little bit. But we're going to get straight into this anyway, so I don't think there's too much else to cover. The, the stats are all on the screen. You can see Shell Ballot Bill and then with the ability of Bulletproof. If you do need to get Belly Drum on this, you do need to use the Mirror Herb. You cannot do it any other way. So yeah, make sure you have a Pokemon in your party that has Belly Drum. You guys know how that all works. And you want to have his um, nature as careful. Just to boost that special defense as well. You will uh, get a drop in special attack, but that doesn't matter. You don't need that. You don't need that. So we're going to get straight into the battle. You guys can see firsthand how easy it is. You guys can watch it and see it. So let's go straight into this battle and go beat up a Venusaur. All right, now that we are over in the raid, we have a beautiful ground type Venusaur in front of us. He's gonna be doing all his things, setting up Sunny Day, all that jazz. As you can see, I have got a Clod side, Umbreon, and a Sneasler as my team. Sometimes you get a little bit lucky, you get like a, uh, like a smaller evolution and stuff, forgot the name, I, I generally cannot remember. But you wanna come straight into this raid and you wanna start off by using Belly Drum. Belly Drum is definitely gonna be boosting you straight, your stats up, Times six straight away, which is going to be amazing. Sometimes Venusaur will use Amnesia as well, which is always nice because it kind of gives you pretty much a free pass on the turn. He's not going to knock you out once you have done this Belly Drum. You can go then straight up to Drain Punch. Once you get this Drain Punch off, he will Earth Power me here. Once he gets the Drain Punch off here, though, you should, if you've done everything right, stats-wise and everything else, you should... Max back up to full health. If you don't, the Shell Bell pretty much finishes that off for you, which you will see now. There you go. We're pretty much max health. And right now, what he's going to be doing turn two is he's going to be removing your ability. That's why I waited for a second. He was being a bit slow, so don't rush. Your abilities have been uh, taken away, so you want to go straight to Spiky Shield. You don't want to risk it because he can Sludge Bomb you here, and that is not what you want. So we're going to be protecting ourselves, see what he does, see, there you go, Sludge Bomb, all of that would have been for nothing, he would have knocked you straight out, and it would have just been an absolute pain to try to regain. So yeah, it's worth just doing, even if he doesn't Sludge Bomb you there, like, and you're just, oh, I could have done this, just don't take the risk, just as soon as he gets rid of your ability for that turn, just use it, then Belly Drum again, and you should be absolutely fine, and once you've Belly Drummed, which you're going to see on the screen, we're then going to go and hit him with just some more seed bombs and you'll see after this one once I once he's done his giga drain and taken some more health from me I'm gonna smack him with a seed bomb which is gonna give me my health back it's gonna go through his shield quite nicely super effective pardon me I didn't mean to burp there but we're gonna keep that in we're gonna see if anybody notices through the video and then we're gonna terror 
grass. We're going to terror grass and then start seed bombing him down to the ground. This is his ultimate downfall right now. You are absolutely in safety. Once you have that grass terror, you also have your ability. You are safer than safe. Like Giga Drain isn't gonna do anything to you. It's it's gonna it's it's easy from here. It's just free. Venusaur is a sitting duck or a sitting frog. However you want to put it, he is not having a good time right now. And all you pretty much want to do is just seed bomb your way right down. As you saw, like that was big damage. He will not get rid of your stats again through this entire turn. He will remove the stats from itself, as you can see what just happened there. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to take his shield down with this one attack if all my uh, teammates have done a little bit of attack, hopefully. Uh, it is poison though, so it is kind of nice to have some um, NPCs doing a bit of the job for you. Being poisoned is definitely helpful. He's going to make his attacks a lot weaker. There you go. So pretty much two hits after you've had that terror. He has now lost his shield. And we're going to grab some health as well from the Shell Bell while his um, shield is destroyed. And he, he's just free for the picking now, guys. He is literally free for the picking. This damage is going to be gnarly right now. Yeah, that is that. That is a disgusting amount of health taken off. He does set up Sunny Day again. like He's trying to get his speed and all that jazz over you again. But at this point, it's too little, too late, Venusaur. You're just gone. You're just done. You couldn't handle the team with uh, Samantha. Yeah, we're going to go with the NPC Samantha. Samantha just absolutely destroyed you. And here we go. This should be him out for the count. And that is your Venusaur. Get it first try. Don't worry about messing around. Build this chestnut and have no stress whatsoever. You can pick whatever ball. And this is your Mighty Mark Venusaur. Now, this is a raid that you're going to want to farm a little bit. Because this is the first 7-star raid that we've seen properly that they've got like this, like Charizard, Venusaur, and Blastoise, that you can actually get Herba Mysticus from. Yes, you heard it here first. You can get Herba Mysticus from this raid. So it makes doing these raids a little bit more worth it with all the bonuses you already get with uh, Shards, Ability Patches, and whatnot. I didn't get any in this one. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.